Hi, I'm Lori Hernandez, and I'm super excited to welcome you to our first episode of Circuit Out. I'm here in Las Vegas, home to some of Cirque du Soleil's greatest shows. Stick with me as we go through the paces with one of Cirque du Soleil's elite performers and their coach. Ready to work out the Cirqueway? Let's Circuit Out. Hey guys, today we're going to base our workout on a skill that you might not expect, fire manipulation. Our guest artist is Junior, who is a part of the cast of O, and yes, he is a fire manipulator. What's up, Junior? What's up? Junior is going to be put through the paces by performance condition specialist, Leland Barker. You want to do it too? Please. I got you. Yes. O is a very poetic show, very dreamlike. The fire manipulation act is super magical, and it requires a special set of athletic skills. We're going to bring out those skills with you in today's workout. Are you ready? We're ready. Let's circuit out. Hey guys, we're gonna do a general physical preparation workout today. The fire guys are prioritizing strength and hypertrophy to make sure that they look good and feel good out on the stage. Our workout today is gonna consist of some squats, some hinges, pushes, pulls, and some core work. Before we get started, we're gonna do some banded walks to activate his glutes. Go ahead, Junior. So this exercise is a lateral band shuffle. I'm looking for him to pretend like a ceiling is right above his head. And I'm looking for him to keep tension in the band, push his knees out. It's a great exercise to work the outer hips and make sure that once we start squatting, that his knees are getting into decent position. Thanks, Junior. Today's first exercise is the back squat. Junior here is gonna do three sets of eight. So the, the back squat is a traditional strength exercise. It's great for the lower extremity and stabilizing the core. With Junior here, I look for him to find a position that where his feet are comfortable. You can see he takes a pretty wide stance. He's got a nice straight back. And we're looking for him to drive up. Nice, Junior. One of the major cues that I look for is that the knees are traveling in the same plane, but the toes are pointing. Nice, Junior, well done. The second exercise is the kettlebell swing. It's a great dynamic exercise. Junior's gonna do three sets of 10. This exercise is a great hinging exercise. So we're gonna get a little bit more hamstring and glute stretch out of this. And sometimes I'm gonna have him bend his knees a little less to get more hamstring. Here I'm still looking for a nice straight back. I'm looking for the hips to move backwards and then forwards, have a little bit of a dynamic nature to it. Well done, Junior, nice job. So the next exercise is the bench press. Today we're gonna to do the incline bench press. Junior here is gonna do three sets of 10. Go ahead. So the incline bench press is a great one for the upper pectorals and triceps as well. So these are the type of muscles that really stand out when you're on stage. And so for the fire guys, having this musculature and look is important. Gotta make sure those tattoos look good. Junior here, just a little light for him, but we'll gradually build up in weight, try to get as much volume as we can. Alternatively, if you guys wanted to train for more strength, you could increase the weight even more, do a few less reps per set, longer rest periods. And here's our last one, Junior. Nice job. So the fourth exercise of the day is gonna be the weighted pull-up. Junior is gonna strap on 10 to 25 pounds. If you can't do that much weight, feel free to do normal pull-ups. Go ahead, Junior. Usually with pull-ups, I have people do as many as they can. It's a great exercise to develop the lats, the biceps, and make sure we're keeping these guys strong. From an aesthetic standpoint, this is a good way to maintain the V shape that people are looking for. If you don't have a weight belt, an easy way is to just pick up a dumbbell using your feet. Uh, medicine balls between the knees can work well. Weight vests are another way. Most of the time, a guy like me, body weight is plenty. So for this fifth exercise, we're gonna do a single arm row. Junior's gonna go ahead and do three sets of 10 of this. I usually give people two other options. An option without the bench, so kind of a bent over single arm row. And the other one would be a plank version where the one hand is on the bench, but the body 
is in a plank, almost like a push-up, and you can do a row from there. Right here, I'm looking for a good posture out of Junior. He's in a nice position. I'm looking for that left arm to really press into the bench hard and get a row towards the hip. So after you finish your 10th rep, just make sure to switch to the other side, finish that set, and then take your rest period. So we'll finish the workout with a ball plank. This is a modification of a normal plank. And Junior is going to put his elbows on the ball and he's basically going to saw back and forth. I usually assign 10 reps for these. If people can build up to 15 or 20, then I might progress to using a wheel and doing full rollouts. Well, I really want to make sure that the lower back is not extending or arching at all. We're keeping those abs tight and reaching out as far as we can while maintaining that back posture. Nice job, Junior. So that's the end of the workout, guys. Junior got a good sweat on. Don't forget to Sorry, cool down, dude. okay? Gotta, show. gotta go. Well, there you have it. Don't forget to circuit out, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like or a comment. Better yet, share it with your friends. Just look over here to see which videos you want to watch next. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all the great content we publish every single week. We at Cirque du Soleil are here to flip your everyday reality the Cirque way, where everyone every day is extraordinary.